Hello everyone, today I have a pretty cool tutorial planned out. So you will be learning how to send requests and you will also be making a simple brute forcer which will try to crack the password of a user. So disclaimer, do not try this on an actual website since most modern websites they will email the person uh, which you're trying to crack uh, his password or her password and also it is illegal. So I have made a small test website over here um, using Python and Flask. And it just asks for a username and password. I have created a profile for like a username and a password, which is the username is admin and the password is one two. We will be trying to crack the password. I will also be making a, a second profile after the video called username with a random password. And if you are seeing this video, uh, try to crack it, I guess, with the brute force we're going to make. And whoever cracks it first, well, you get nothing but con congratulations, I guess. Anyway, so using the request library, we will be sending a request to this URL and filling out these username and password using a dictionary. You will be seeing in a moment. So first of all, install requests, open command prompt and type in pip install requests. After that, we can import it. So import requests. And now we actually need to see the request. So to interpret the request, just open up inspect element, right click inspect. And go to the network tab over here. If you do not have the network tab, click on these two arrows and select network from here. Now, as you can see, this place is empty. We will be seeing a, re a request which we will be sending shortly. So first of all, just put in a random username and a random password. Now just click login. Of course, it's a fail to log in, but you can see here something appear, confirm login. So request URL, this is the URL which we will, which we will be sending requests to. Also make sure you are in the headers tab. So let's make a variable URL, which will be equal to this URL. Now, uh, if we scroll to the bottom, you can see here it says form data, which is basically what we submit is your username one and password one. So let's make a function which will send a request uh, and passing in information, the username and the password. So it will take two arguments, username and password. And we can now uh, send the request, but first actually let's make the dictionary. So data will be equal to a dictionary. And in the dictionary, there will be username, which will be equal to the username argument up here and password, which will also be equal to password. Now let's actually send the request. So sending a request is actually extremely simple. Simple. Let's make it into a variable. So r equals requests dot get the URL variable we have up here and data equals the dictionary data. Now just to make sure this is working, let's print the request dot text. So now if you run this, we can call the function send request and just pass in a random username and a random password. It actually doesn't matter at all. We, this is just for testing. And it printed failed to log in. This is great. Now, if we send a request using uh, uh, the actual username and the actual password, it said logged in. That means it works. So now let's actually try to make the brute forcer which will crack the password. So remove the print and return request. Now, we will make a main loop which will try different passwords randomly until it gets the correct one. So first of all, let's import random. Now, let's make the function, let's just call it main. It doesn't need any arguments. And let's make a while true loop. So basically this will run till infinity until we decide to break it. So while true, uh, let's make, let's uh, get the password. Uh, random password will be equal to random dot choices. And now we need um, a list of every single character, not character, every single 
um, letter from the alphabet and number. I will have one in the description which you can copy paste, but I already have one pasted somewhere here. So chores equals this. Also note uh, there are none of them are alpha are uh, big letters, but it doesn't matter that much, I guess. You can add them if you want to. And also you can also add some symbols if you want, but for this tutorial, we're just going to be cracking a simple password, so it doesn't matter. So just pass in chores and the length. So we will assume you already know the length, but if you do not know the length, you can randomly generate it. So K, which would be length, equals if you want, if you do not know the length, just do random dot randint and a random number from I don't know, one to one, whatever you want. But because well, I want to keep this tutorial a bit short, let's just make the length be whatever we know the length is. So two. Now let's um check if the password is correct or not. So let's in the request. Uh, let's make a variable for the username because we will assume we already know the username. So username equals admin. Username. And the password, which will be the random password. But this will actually return a list. So we need to convert that list to a string. So password will be equal to dot join rmd password. If you do not know, this is how you convert a list to a string. So now we can pass in the password here, and that's it. Actually, let's define this as a variable. OK, since this will return the request. Now we can check if it is good or not, the request, if it is the password or not. So if failed to log in in r.text.lower, this is, dot .lower is to convert it to lower text, lowercase text. So if fail to log in is in the request text, that means that we did not crack it. So just print incorrect and the password which we tried, I guess. So password. And also make sure it's an F string, so F at the beginning. Now, if it is not incorrect, else we will be printing correct password and password and also add slash n at the button you will see you will see why in a second so this is basically the whole thing but we did not finish yet you can end off here if you just wanted to learn a bit about the basics but now we will be making the brute forcer work even better so what we will be doing is checking if the password is in a list so basically so it doesn't try the same password more than once. So how we can do this is we can create a .txt file, a text file, and write in every password inside of it. And then check if the random password is already in the passwords which we tried. So if it fails to log in, we can just open the tries.txt file, tries.txt, in A mode. A mode is append, so it appends text, so it doesn't delete whatever is in the file. And I forgot to add as f. So f dot write the password, so pass wd and a slash n. And now just close the file, f dot close. Now uh, over here we can also write the file to a, we can write the correct password to a file called uh, correct password.txt so correct pass.txt in w mode as f i keep forgetting that so f.write password do we don't need a slash n because we will not be writing more than once in it i mean more than two times oh i mean yeah uh, never mind okay now that we have this, uh, now that we can actually use this file. So let's just define a variable valid, which is equals to false, and make another loop inside our already existing loop. So while not valid, uh, just tab this. Uh, to tab more than one uh, line, you can just select it and click tab. 
And now we will be checking if it, the password is already in the list. So we will be opening the file. The file legal open tries.txt. And you can put in here R mode, which is for read. So tries will be equals to file.read. And we can then close the file. Now, if password in tries, then I guess we just continue, nothing happens. So actually, then nothing happens. But if it is not, then valid equals true. Since it is valid password, it is has it has never been tried before. Now, we basically have uh, everything ready, but you will see it is very slow. Let's run it. Oh, uh, wait, we have to first call the main function. So at the end, just put main. Oh, uh, wait, no such file tries.txt. Just create a file in whatever directory you have called tries.txt. Okay, now we are ready. If you run it, you can see it says incorrect and then the password. But it is extremely slow. Just look, it tries like one password or two passwords per second. Like you can never crack a password, especially if it is more than two characters, which it obviously will be. So then we can use something called threading. Threading basically creates multiple instances of the same function. And so basically just from threading import thread. And now, do not call the main function. At the bottom, we will be putting, we will be making a for loop for x in range and however threads you want to create. Uh, however threads you make, that, uh, for example, if we make 10 threads, it will try 10 passwords per, se per second. But beware, I do not recommend to try more than 100 threads because it depends on your computer and it might actually crash your PC. So 10 threads is a good number. I will put 20 because my PC is good uh, good enough, but you can put as many as you want depending on your CPU. And for uh, for X in range 20, so it will do this 20 times, we will be creating a thread with the target being main. Make sure to not put these two uh, semicolons at the end of main and dot start. Okay. Now, if we run this, you can see it will be much faster. Like, this is incredibly fast. And you can put even more threads. But you will realize, maybe, in the... Uh, I'm not going to wait, but I already know this will happen. Oh, you can see it found the correct password. You can see. It said correct pass. It actually found it. One, two. It was pretty fast. But you saw that none of the other threads stopped. That is because it, uh, each thread is independent. So the thread doesn't know that the password is fine. To make this not be true, we can import OS and check at the beginning of the loop if the correct pass file is in, it was already made. So if correct pass.txt in OS.listdir, listdir will uh, return a list of every single file slash folder in the directory, then we can break it. And also at the uh, correct password, also we can put a break at the end here. So now if we run this, oh, wait a sec. Uh, we need to remove the correct password.txt uh, file first. Uh, we can also delete everything in a tries.txt. If we run it, let's just wait and see how much time it takes. And you can see it has found the correct password, 12, and it stopped. I mean, not exactly in time, but it still stopped. So now that we have made this, uh, again, do not try it on an actual website. You can try it on my website. I will leave it up for at least two more days. And that's about it. I will also be creating a new user, which will be called username. And I will be giving it a password after the video. So if you want to try to crack the password of a username, 
then be my guest. I will just give you one hint. The password will be at least five characters long. Okay? So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed and this helped you, don't forget to like and or subscribe if you're feeling generous. And thanks for watching. See you later.